Hi, my name is Jada Lindau, and you are? Hi, I'm Jennifer Schultz. I'm running for Court of Common Pleas. And welcome to Close the Creek. Thank you. It's great to be here tonight. <laughs> Who are you? So I'm an attorney. I work at Community Legal Services. I'm actually just right down the street on the same block at Broad and Erie. And I've been there for over a decade, so that's more than 10 years. I'm in something called the Home Ownership and Consumer Rights Unit. So that means I help people save their homes when they're having problems with foreclosures and property taxes. I also help people who are having problems with student loans and other kinds of debt. Why do you want to be a judge? So my whole career has been about helping people who cannot afford an attorney, making sure that they get adequate representation so that our system can work fairly. Because our, our justice system works in the idea that you have two sides called an adversary system, and that allows them to find the truth. And if you don't have those two sides evenly matched, it doesn't work as well. And we know that. We did a recent study in our landlord-tenant courts, and we know that if you have a lawyer, you only get evicted about 5% of the time. But when you don't have a lawyer, it's more than 70% of the time. And that means our justice system isn't working the way that it should. Um, even though myself and my colleagues work really hard and do a great job for our clients, we're not able to help every person. There are too many people who need help. And judges really need to help close that gap and make sure that the system works for everybody. So I want to make sure that everybody is able to get access to justice in our court. What are your vials on youth and children? My values? Yes. So actually, I really care a lot about youth, and a lot of my volunteer activities have been really focused on that. I volunteer at a local historic house called Grumblethorpe in Germantown. And the reason that I got so involved there is they have a youth program for middle school and high schoolers. And it's a place where they can learn about history and also learn skills that they can take with them in their life. And I'm a huge believer that knowledge is power. So over the years, I volunteered for school career days and school mentorship programs. Um, I also participate in a women's group called American Association of University Women. And in that program, I've done a lot of work around um, ways that we can help make sure that girls and young women are able to excel and have the same opportunities as everyone else in our society. So that's something that I care a lot about. And I know that we have to always work. It takes a village. And we're all part of making sure that youth are able to be fully participatory in our society. Here, restorative justice to you. Hmm. So the, the idea of restorative justice is really something that's being talked about more and more. And I think that's a good thing. Um, I think that in our ideas, that sometimes we shift too far in one direction. We talk about that as a pendulum. And eventually we realize maybe we went too far and we need to go back the other way. And for a long time in our country, we've been focused on punishment and tough on crime. And what we're realizing is that, that harms communities. It doesn't help victims. It doesn't help people who've done things that are wrong. And it doesn't help those fa the families and the other people who rely upon people who have been convicted of crimes. Understanding that the people who are in a situation are going to be ongoing members of our community and finding ways that we can help all of those people move forward after a crime has been committed is really the goal of restorative justice. Last thoughts? Sure. Um, I just want everyone to remember I'm Jennifer Schultz, Jen for Judge. I'm button number four, and I hope you remember me on May 21. Thank you so much. It was great talking with you tonight. Nice to meet you. Thank you.